Okay, it's day three in testimony of the murder of Zion Foster, her cousin Jalen Brazier, on trial, accused of killing her and putting her body in a dumpster. He claims he found Zion dead after leaving alone, uh, leaving her alone rather for a short time. Well, today the court got a chance to hear exactly what Brazier told investigators after Zion disappeared. Sean Lay has been covering the trial and joins us live with today's developments. Sean. Demond inside the courtroom here for every moment of this. Afterwards, just now, I'm having text messages in exchange with Zion Foster's mother. She says she is watching the foundation. The prosecution is building a foundation, piece of evidence by piece of evidence. She says she wants to know, and the jury would know, uh, would want to know if both uh, Zion and Brazier were smoking marijuana that night she disappeared. Uh, why did she have have a deadly effect to that marijuana uh, and other things that came up today? Here's the very latest. Wayne County prosecutors are slowly piecing together the tragic puzzle of what happened to 17-year-old East Point teen Zion Foster by highlighting all of the bits and pieces of evidence that they have to present to the jury, despite the fact that Foster's remains have never been found. Foster's cousin, Jalen Brazier, is charged with second-degree murder and tampering with evidence in the case. The jury heard Brazier's story about what happened to Zion today. When she was at home with him in January of 2022, with no emotion, Brazier told police on this video, he left the room, came back, and Zion was dead. And then you start shaking her. She doesn't wake up. You check her pulse. You think she's dead at that point, or does she still just have pain breathing? And it wasn't anything. There was nothing at that point? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Brazier says he panicked, put Zion's body in the trunk of his car, and put her body in a dumpster in Highland Park. DNA was also found in the trunk of Brazier's car, but other DNA was also found. Any DNA belonging to Zion could not be isolated. With the passenger side trunk liner swabs, um, I determined that that DNA profile was too complex to make any comparisons to. And so you're not able to go in um, and figure out whose DNA that was, is that correct? Correct. Very interesting about multiple forms of DMA, DNA in that trunk of the car. Zion Foster's mother is saying it's very hard for her, of course, to be in that courtroom with all this being said. But also, we'll put that video of Brazier talking to police on clickondetroit.com. You can see the whole thing. She says it's just unbelievable how someone can be so calm and direct saying he dumped someone's daughter in a dumpster, put someone's daughter in a dumpster. Trial continues. 1.30 tomorrow, we will be here. All right, Sean, thank you. Let him pack here.